how to secure America's vast borders while protecting a proud immigrant tradition. A policy conundrum that's long confounded Washington, but now a bipartisan way forward. We believe this will be the year Congress finally gets it done. The politics on this issue have been turned upside down. For the first time ever, there's more political risk in opposing immigration reform than in supporting it. It was a news conference for our times, with senators breaking into Spanish, the first language of a growing number of voters. Well, first let me just say, John, I don't agree with anything you just said about you in Spanish. <laughs> there are 11 million human beings in this country today that are undocumented. That's not something that anyone is happy about. That's not something anyone wanted to see happen. But it is what has happened. And we have an obligation and the need to address the reality of the situation that we face. Some illegal immigrants are already being allowed to stay. The Obama administration has ended deportations for those who were brought here as children. But the Senate plan goes further, offering all illegal immigrants an eventual path to citizenship, provided they pass background checks and pay outstanding taxes. In the election, President Obama won big among Hispanic voters, proving the value of an immigration push that he'll continue over the next four years. There's an element of deja vu here because in his second term, George W. Bush also championed immigration reform and he failed because of conservative opposition. The big difference this time is that both parties have a clear electoral interest in supporting change. Steve Kingston, BBC News, Washington.